Hello, I'm Dr. Pravin, a postdoctoral fellow from ERA Cypher Group from the University of Tartu, Estonia. So in our group, we focus on developing novel computational imaging technologies for different applications. Uh, recently, a computational algorithm called Lucy Richardson Rosen algorithm, uh, which was developed by uh, combining the well-known uh, Lucy and Richardson and uh, nonlinear reconstruction method developed by Professor Rosen of Ben Gurion University, Israel. This new algorithm, Lucy Richardson Rosen, has already proven useful for improving imaging at the Australian synchrotron. Recently, our Cypher team, in collaboration with the research team led by Professor Solius from Swinburne University, Australia, and another research team led by Professor Ajit Sharma from the Computer Science Institute of University of Tartu, have made two novel applications of the new algorithm. Let me to briefly describe the problem, which we may all have experienced at some point of time. You have seen a small flower or a tiny ladybug or a dewdrop on the leaf during the early morning sun and so on. But then you take your mobile phone and try to catch the moment. Many times you realize the limitation of your device. Uh, it allows you to focus only to the certain level. Don't worry, this is the case of most of the linear optical imaging systems. Most of our telescopes and microscopes suffer of this issue. This is because, like our human eye, where we have the least distance of distinct vision condition, smartphones cannot capture images beyond certain limit. In our study, we have successfully extended the imaging resolution of many latest smartphones such as Galaxy A71 and OnePlus using our new computational methods. When you take a normal image in your mobile smartphone, it is very closed up and you see something like this. So the image is always blurred and uh, when you close up or crop a certain part, it will look something like that. When we incorporate these kind of images into our algorithm, it will reconstruct the images and will yield results something like this. So if you take a line profile along this image, you will see something like this. Here this blue line corresponds to the uh, blurred image and this orange line corresponds to the de blurred image. If you can see this, new pixels and sharpness and crispness uh, have been obtained after reconstructing the image. How do we do it? Every object in digital domain can be considered as a collection of points. Our algorithm looks for isolated points and uses them as a reference to de-blur the images obtained from the smartphone. Currently, we are developing a mobile phone app to do this in the real time. The second application is on deep learning. As Andrew Nuck says, AI is the new electricity. Is AI standalone? No, it relies on our systems such as imaging systems, measurement systems, detection systems, etc. for obtaining reliable data. After training a deep learning network, the success of classification of an object in real time depends on the quality of the input images. In turn, the quality of these input images is controlled by the imaging system. We found that the performance of deep learning networks were affected by the limitations of the imaging system. So we have applied our computational methods along with the deep learning networks and found a significant improvement in the prediction probability such as as high as 500% in some cases. So we are now trying to develop deep learning computational algorithm integrated methods for uh, improved imaging and predictions. Okay, uh, before saying goodbye, I wish to acknowledge my colleagues uh, Andrei, Shiva, Francis, Daniel, Mo, Agnes, Soon, Thomas, Arvin, Amdevil, of course, uh, Professor uh, Vijay, Professor uh, Solius, Professor Rajesh for their contribution at different levels of the project. Also, special thanks to our project manager, Tia for her continuous support. Last but not least, we acknowledge the financial support from European Union Horizon 2020 Fund, which makes this project a possible one. Thank you.